Good morning, Candace Gillespie here from Candace's Canvases, and I have with me Mr. Gillespie. Oh, hi. This is Eli, my husband of almost seven years. We dated for eight months and were married right after that, and I went to my very first Dodgers game. So now I have a hat and... It was really fun. What was your fun, your your favorite part of the game last night? <clears throat> getting the Dodger hat. What did you like about getting the Dodger hat? It's fitted. Oh, oh, that's nice. Um, they used to be made out of 100% wool, but I noticed that this one, maybe they changed. Sorry, boring. 100% <laughs> polyester. That's kind of interesting. So they're no they used longer to be wool. Folks, note, they're no longer made of wool. Now they're made of 100% polyester. Tisk, tisk, tisk. So I but, had... But, but oh. for real, my favorite part was the great seats we got, and it was a great game because we won. Go, Dodgers! Seven to one, yeah. We actually had... I mean, what would you call those seats behind... It was, it was like between... It was behind the visitor dugout, maybe 10 rows back. Almost field level. It was... Wait, let's thumb kiss. <gasps> That's what I brought to the marriage. <laughs> okay, so how did we get those tickets? Well, an insurance company that we represent gave them to us. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. We were for they bought, insurance. They even bought the hats. Yeah, can you believe it? Okay, so that was just a little... And the food. They bought us food. In the Dodger Stadium Club. And we, we got all-you-can-eat buffet, desserts. Yeah, it was awesome. <clears throat> Coffee. Great parking. Drinks if you wanted them. What the heck? We <clears throat> drink water. Oh, that was, that was pretty amazing, too, was the parking. We're like, here's the entrance. Oh, brother. <laughs> here's the entrance. Here's the first row of parking. Here's us. So we walked about 100 feet, got in the stadium, went in. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. All right. With that said, with our number one fan's Dodgers hat, and let me tell you, I'm not really a fan of any sport, but it was really fun and really cool, and it was cool to be with my best friend slash husband. Oh, me? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Like, oh, who am I pointing at? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to show you a card I did. It was super easy. And sorry for the long intro. I thought it would be fun. Oh, no, no. Stay oh. in here. This is the awkward part where you just kind of have to figure out what to look at. Well, I've got my computer right here, so I can just kind of... <laughs> Shoot. Okay. I am using this Stampin' Up! balloon punch I got from... Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Candace's canvases. <laughs> I got this Stampin' Up! punch um, just recently from my girl, Tarina. Hey, girl. And I'll put her link below if you're interested. There's a big old beautiful stamp set that goes with this. Hi, buddy. Hold on. Get, hi. Then I use some Distress Inks. These are the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And I use some Gossamer Blue. I get a subscription. And they give us, amongst all the other super fun, cool stuff they give us, I used one of these cards. They're kind of like Project Life cards. Um, anyway, so following stay tuned i want to say but it'll be up in just about a second okay have fun crafty people bye okay so that was my super awesome husband and <laughs> he just makes me laugh all the time so okay i have here i started with just some scrap card bases that i think i actually inherited from someone someone just gave me a bunch so i'm gonna use this kind of blushy pink one and i cut down um I think it was just in just about an eighth of an inch on all four sides. Um, and I am going to punch out some balloons with my Stampin' Up! punch. I'm going to open up some scrap paper and break out some distress sprays. And just spray them down kind of randomly just so they get a nice mix of color. 
and this is funny. I left this in the video because you should watch how ridiculous <laughs> this was. I could not, I was not uh, doing a good job keeping these balloons <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> it makes me laugh. So uh, for your enjoyment, <laughs> you can see my struggle trying to dry these things with my heat tool. It was all fun though. <laughs> Okay, so now I am just thinking, oh, here I'm um, breaking out my, uh, the cards I got from Gossamer Blue. They're really cool because they come on landscape or portrait, on one on either side, so you get to kind of pick how you want to use it. These would be really good for scrapbook layouts and such, um, and look at how easy it was to put a decorative face on this card just by using one of those um, already patterned cards. So here I'm just gluing on the balloons in an order that I think is pleasing to the eye. No design expert, but you know, it worked out. I popped the balloon, the bl blue, bluish greenish balloon up on a pop dot. Give it some dimension here. Let's see, and then I think I am getting some washi tape. Oh no. Oh yeah, see, here I was trying to use my white gel pen to make like the little shiny part of the balloon, but my gel pen was not working very well on that uh, distressing. Maybe it needed to dry thoroughly before I tried, but you know, you'll see I go and attempt it again. So I just got a little piece of washi tape. This is the same from the washi tape. It's the same set I got um, from Amazon. I can put the link down below. What I like about the washi tape, it's, it's, it's I wouldn't say it's the highest quality. I, I don't know what the highest quality washi tape is, but for the price, it's a really good quality and I like it. It has lots of fun designs. So I added some coral baker's twine to each of the little balloon stems. I, the, I didn't glue those parts down, I just kind of glued the center of the balloon down. And then I'm making a bow and then gluing the center of the bow down so it's kind of anchored, you know. And I'm just kind of trimming off the excess string there. So this becomes my card front. Just gonna glue that down on that blushy color cardstock. And I didn't make that card base. It was a pre-made card base. I have, I, I forget I have it, a big stack. And I think these card bases have to be like um, 15 years old at least because a friend gave it to me and she said she used to do crafts and stuff with her daughter when her daughter was young and um, her daughter's just a little bit younger than I am so. Then I took a navy blue gel pen and I made some stitch marks along the white part of the card base. And I went in, I didn't give up on my little shiny parts of the card with my white gel pen. And then here is another piece of cardstock. I cut it down to match the front. And I'm actually decided I wanted to use this scrap paper, it's just regular printer copy paper, but I love the effect that it that the um, Distress Sprays gave. And uh, so I decided to just glue that bad boy down. <laughs> and they're exactly the same size. I wanted to give that copy paper a little strength, so I glued it right on top of a piece of cardstock. Now this birthday stamp is from an old Stampin' Up! set. It's just birthday wishes. And I really like that fancy font. I wish it were a little more bold because it is kind of busy, but I just really like how it turned out. It didn't bother me at all. So I'm bringing the theme from the outside inside with the stitching. And I'm doing that just by adding a bunch of dash lines. I'm sure you've seen that a million times, but if you haven't, that's how it's done. And then gluing it back on, or gluing it inside. That pretty much sums it up. 
I write, let me see, wait, I'm busting out. Oh, here's the envelope. Good, the envelope. I used that extra balloon I had, glued it all the way down. That way it didn't get caught in any of the, I don't know what kind of machines they might run envelopes through. Um, and then I, with my blue gel pen, I just made a little string. And there's the card set. So fun. Oh yeah, I did add the stitching to the back of the card too. Just kind of brings it all together. So that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And um, leave me any comments if you want to see videos or anything. And I'd be happy. I respond to probably 99.9% .9 of the comments. So I look forward to hearing from you. And we'll talk soon again. Bye.